Rousey in here right now. Let me tell you. One of the marquee games of the challenge. Number seven Duke for the first time ever has come to the campus at the University of Arkansas for an ESPN Sun. Duke five and one, ranked seventh in the nation. Arkansas fell out of the rankings. A lot of transfers, a lot of talent, and a lot of athleticism for the Hogs. They force a turnover. Al Ellis, Devo Davis, Arkansas lead. Right now, Ellis off the glass, and Filipowski down with a rebound. L. Ellis in the starting lineup tonight. Tremon Mark is not expected Anxious to play. Moments, but thankfully he's okay and yeah. he'll be back soon. The transfer from Houston is off to a great start for the Hogs this year. Davenport underneath and it's laid in by Chandler Lawson. In his fourth year in the program, that's a rarity these days with everybody transferring so much. Ellis the kick. Brazil hoists the three and knocks it down. McCain open on the wing, and Duke back on top. Up and retreat, and stay with the three-point shooter, because Filipowski's just going to be a tough two, because Brazil was back there. Brazil is fouled and it goes. The Louisville Cardinal, who has not scored in his last three games, after starting the first four, and putting up pretty good numbers with Mark out, they could really use some offense from Ellis. A nice drive. End to end. It feels like it'd be quieter if we went and lay down near the airport. Just watch the planes land. It is unbelievable in here, but it gets a little bit quieter after the... Makai Mitchell has checked in for Arkansas. And it'll give him an assist on the bucket by Kalen Battle. The spinal specialist, among others, has looked at him and determined there is no structural damage, nothing significant that could cause a long-term issue. What a move how about this? Ten minutes in, ten lead changes, and neither team is led by more than two points. Kremen Brazil take by Mark. That two-man zone that they're playing, they're playing off non-shooting bigs and just right in the middle of the lane. Ellis, no. Rebound, Lawson. Good pass. Battle. And Offensive rebound is the key. Timeout, Duke. Building B. With Duke coming to town for the first time ever. V Week at ESPN, where we partner with the V Foundation to highlight the urgent need for cancer research. Join the fight at B. Three freshmen on the floor right now for the Blue Devils. Corner three is open. Filipowski down with an impressive rebound. Ahead to Roach, who will lay it in. And Eric Musselman will not be happy with that as they didn't have any floor balance. Yeah, just poor balance because the corners were filled. Nice. Trevin Brazil lays it in to tie it up. And Power knocks it down. His first touch Gap is a three-pointer. Two play one and then play out of it. Devo Davis back on the floor. There it is. And Battle did it, and Brazil knocks it down. Now the drive by McCain, and it won't go, but Filipowski lays it in. But Filipowski is such a great Brazil's job. Got to come out and guard him. Roach gets all the way inside, can't finish it. That's a lot of size to finish over. Battle driving on power. Davenport, yes! He needed that one. I think Arkansas has got to flatten it out a little bit more. That's a tough pass. It's a very tough pass, and it's a turnover. And it's Proctor bobbing and weaving all the way up the court. Power again, his second three of the night. How about T? Handler Lawson set a great screen against that zone to get Jeremiah.
Davenport open. The pull up by McCain is short. They've got time. Battle. In that first half, three or four of them were unforced. Good drive. And there's a bucket and for Ellis. Ellis has four four passes to the like Maybe that he's broken the ice. Arkansas fans will see more of the L. Ellis that they have expected to see. Filipowski rejected by Lawson. What a play. Texas fourth for really containing Zach Eady as Arkansas beat Purdue in overtime in that game. What a pass. like whenever Duke needs a bucket. And he did that against Arkansas actually in the Elite Eight game a couple years ago. The floater up and good for Al Ellis. Yeah. One, two. Time. Really impressed, he said, with the way that the energy he played so far. Chris, thank you. Step in here by Proctor up and good. The, uh, and he was his good voice last. to a much bigger extent this year. Taking, talking a lot more in huddles in the locker room, really stepping up as a leader as well. Look at this. What a pass. pass. What a play as Proctor finds Filipowski. And give credit. Ellis with a couple of buckets already here in the second half. Keeps the dribble alive. Brazil another three. In the third of the game. at the other end. A little penetration here goes a long way. Penetrate into a gap even if it's just one dribble. Lawson in the short corner finds Davis who gives it right back to him for the reverse. Akibo Davis operates very well in the middle for the Blue Devils who have won four in a row coming into this game. Is that Lawson again? Didn't think Proctor needed to go to the other side of the rim there. They could block some shots. It started with a block at one end, something they do very well, and it ended with a three from Battle. Caleb Battle looked like he lost the ball on the way up, but you like the aggressiveness. A little shake afterwards to his bench. In the next game, as that'll quiet the crowd just a bit, and probably not for long. Makai Mitchell, and they'll get noisy again. Two really good calls out of the timeout by East Coast. Three off the side of the backboard by Proctor. Here come the Hawks. And this is a big possession for Arkansas to stretch this out. Battle. Yes. Double-digit lead, Arkansas. What a great attack in transition by Arkansas. So the issue was, did the, did the foul occur before the backcourt violation that they were also tracking? The answer was yes. In the end, it's going back to the Hawks. And the block shot. Arkansas not allowing anything into the middle. Mitchell's going to try to make something happen. Brazil got all of that. Blocker lays it in. That is not an easy catch and finish for any big guy. Ellis. Nice pass. Extra pass. And the three. And they're able to penetrate. Mitchell from the elbow. Why not? Remarkable. Yeah. And last year, if Trevor Brazil had stayed healthy, that was a Final Four team. Makai Mitchell, big physical battle with Filipowski, and Mitchell wins. Mitchell, one, two. Just right where Roach did. 
And Ellis down again, got bodied a little bit. Shot clock's down to three. Brazil. Yes! What a shoot by Trevor Brazil! Filipowski steps back for the three, and it's a seven-point game. And John Shire will use this his last time out. Right here. Duke doesn't. Duke does not need a three. They just need a quick score. There's one minute to play. Filipowski will get it, and it's 75-70. Under a minute to go. Turned it over again. Oh my! They've got it again. Foster. And Roach is fouled. Four-point game. Well, that was a big one. They need another quick score. Foster for three. And down with a rebound and wrapping it up as battle. And then get thrown to the court. Makes that one. Five-point lead, five seconds to go. Just get a finger on this. They do. And that is going to do it. The Hawks win. The first time that Duke ever comes to Bud Walton Arena, and Arkansas beats him 80 to 75, and an intense affair in front of a record crowd here in this building. And as you can see, a good time is being had by all right now. What a gritty performance by Arkansas without their leading scorer and their best player, Tremont Mark. That's what.